Hi everyone, my name is Les, I read, and welcome to another video. So this is a review for the book The Joy of Not Working by Ernie J. Zelensky. This is a nonfiction book. It's about learning how to live a life without work and finding the joy in it. It's specifically written for people who are unemployed or thinking about leaving their job and starting kind of like an adventurous life and retirees. So it specifically helps those who struggle with their identity and work. It's for people who are maybe unemployed or going to be retired soon and helping them rethink their identity because as a society, I think sometimes we get really wrapped up in our work, get, re get really wrapped up in our identity and work, meaning that you find your meaning in what you do. And he explains how by doing so, for one thing, your life is not as meaningful and not as full. He talks about how it's important for us to expand our lives and find meaning outside of work and pursue leisure and not just any kind of leisure but very productive leisure. Things that you are interested in and excited about because one day we all are going to retire and if you retire without pursuing other interests outside of work you will have nothing to lean on and he kind of explores that logic. He also talks about work and how as a society like I said we wrap our lives too much around it, put our entire lives into it not that it's really bad necessarily, but it's not really good to be workaholics. It's not good to have an unbalanced work-life relationship um, or life and that it's very important to consider leisure in your life and make a point to find leisure activities and productive leisure time. I found this book really helpful because I don't work. <laughs> I'm unemployed. I think as a society we have been taught to wrap our identity solely around work and as someone who is unemployed found it really hard in a struggle because I felt like I didn't have an identity because I don't have a job or work and by reading this it made me realize that I don't need a job in order to find fulfillment in life and in order to have a specific identity. He does discuss work and how to, one thing, work better and smarter so that you don't have to work so hard and so long, which I thought was really helpful and goes into a more appropriate work-life balance. He isn't necessarily anti-work because at the end of the day, we all need money in order to live our lives. Um, but he talks about maybe instead of pursuing a career, pursuing leisure, or instead of having your entire life dedicated to work, maybe ex explore other things as well. He does talk about like having more productive leisure, meaning like don't just watch TV, but pursue things that are more meaningful. And he teaches you how to find meaning if you're not working. He talks about purpose, like if you don't have a job, try and find another purpose in your life. It could be several things that are purposeful or just one, um, but find your purpose, what you want your purpose to be. He talks about community, how that's really important to make sure you have people in your life to feel fulfilled. As a society, like I said before, we solely focus on work and that's where we find our value is what we do. And I like the he gives us permission to rethink that. Like I said, I felt like I had a lack of identity because I didn't have a job, but he questions work and identity and he gives you permission to think, you know what, you do have value, it's just different, it's just not the same, and it's okay to find value in other things outside of work. So I did find that really helpful and meaningful for me. And he does discuss things like financing. I will be honest, I didn't like 100% read this book cover to cover. I read, I would say like 80% of the book. There was a couple chapters I just wasn't, didn't apply to me and just wasn't quite interested. Like I didn't look at the financial stuff, but he does go into that, like how to live a life of leisure if you are thinking about leaving your job, how to live minimally and with less. Um, that is a big part of this as well, is rethinking the way we live, rethinking um, possessions and just things in general. So I found that really interesting. I will say this is from a boomer perspective and I could tell 
and he kind of has the philosophy that anyone could do this and I don't think that's true meaning like I think it's important to not do work just for money but at the same time like not everyone has the choice to not work there are people who are reliant on work in order to live day to day so i'm not like a hundred percent agree with him but i did find this book really helpful and in a way gripping like it's crazy to think that way but it is he has exercises throughout the book to kind of help you think things through as as you read it um and like the number one exercise that i found really helpful was i forget what he called it but like it was an activity tree or something like that where you just brainstorm different things you want to do in your life and i just think that's really helpful it's so easy to get so stuck in the day to day that you forget to think ahead and think about different things you want to try and do especially if you work especially if you have a family like life just just get so busy. I definitely recommend this if you are struggling with with a work life balance. I recommend it if you're thinking about retiring soon. I recommend it if you're maybe unemployed and you're finding it really hard and not sure how to um, live a new life unemployed. So highly recommend. Yeah, I ended up giving it four stars. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have read this book or any books similar, share recommendations for me down below. I just enjoy reading nonfiction like this. I guess it's technically like self-help. Um, I really enjoy these kind of books. So if you have any similar books for me that you can think of based on this review, please recommend those books down below. If you've read this book before, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions about this book and I would love to have a conversation with you in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done so. You can follow me on Instagram and Goodreads. And you know what? I want you to keep reading. Bye.